My name is George Hilly. Uh, I'm a, an associate professor in the Department of Geological Sciences. Uh, I can't think of ways that I haven't benefited from Stanford. <laughs> Um, you know, I, I uh, got a great education here, and I'm now I have the privilege of being able to work here and kind of give back to a lot of the students um, that are coming through now. In terms of education, I've been trying to put uh, some of my coursework online so that it can be shared with um, anyone who wants to learn, uh, as a Stanford student would. And um, also, I've been working on some technologies to help people. Uh, tell their own stories um, that are have some significance in terms of location. I would say, you know, one of the things that is uh, always really interesting uh, to share with people is that Stanford has a very rich history in terms of its um, the the um, way in which the university has grown up with the um, geologic hazards of the area. So, for instance, the 1906 earthquake, the 1989 earthquake, have both fundamentally impacted the campus and. Um, some might argue even the kind of overall direction of the university. And so um, being able to tell those stories around um, what actually happened during those disasters and how the university used those disasters and kind of turned, or, turned them around in a way that actually uh, made the university stronger in the end and kind of determined its current direction would be stories that I'd want to tell. One of the things that I find very compelling about the earth sciences is that um, the effects or your, your ability to see everything around you is completely changed by being able to understand the earth in general. So it's not like a, um, a science such as uh, chemistry or physics where um, you're really looking to see what the fundamentals of a particular process might be. Um, in order to try to you know, build something new out of that. Instead, as an earth scientist, you're really um, able to view the reality that's around you in the context of that science. And so it's, it's a very living science in that it's everywhere around you. I really feel that uh, Stanford is very forward-looking um, and is not necessarily, or does not let itself be encumbered by um, the history that uh, it has, um, that it's built through time, but it uses kind of the, the history that it has as a way to kind of look towards the future and move into that future in a way that, that I think is, is fairly unique among top tier universities.